Hello learners, I am Akash, I completed my B.Tech from NIT Route Kala in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let's see how to solve this given question. This is an easy one. Uh, we need to find the equation of circle which is passing through these three points. Okay. See, the method I am going to explain is a little lengthy, but it is easy and you can apply it to any question of this model. Fine. Now, see. Uh, okay, one thing you need to understand. Uh, since the circle is passing these three through these three points, these three points lie on the circle, right? These three points lie on the circle. So I'm going to use that condition later on. So I'm taking the first point as A, second point as B and third point as C. And the equation of circle, I'm taking it as this x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2f plus c equal to 0. Standard form of circle. Fine. Okay. So see, as I already mentioned, the circle passes through this point. That means this point lies uh, on the circle. That means this point will satisfy the above equation. Okay, this equation x square plus y square plus 2g plus 2 5 plus c equal to 0. So just substitute 2, 1 in this equation. So if I were to do that, what I'd get is in place of x and y, just put 2 and 1, this is what you would get. And then simplify 2 square is 4, 1 square is 1, and like that, 4g plus 2 plus c. And if I'll and mark this as equation 1. Likewise, the second point also lies on the circle. Okay, this part, the second circle passes through the, the circle passes through phi comma phi. So in this same equation, put in this equation, put phi comma phi. Okay, so do that. You would get this and simplify. This is what you would get. This is my second equation. Now the circle also passes through minus six comma seven. Okay, so in that equation, which I just told, x square plus y square plus two g x plus two phi plus c equal to so just put these two uh, in place of x and y minus six and seven. So this is what I get. Okay, if you simplify it, this is my third equation. All good. Now next, I need to solve these three equations to find out G, F and C. I have three variables, G, F, C, I have three equations. So it's all good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do 2 minus 1 means equation 2 minus equation 1 and then equation 3 minus equation 2. Okay, so that I, I can eliminate C and that will be left with G and F and the other solving process I'll explain. Right? So as I mentioned 2 minus 1. So this is my second equation, this is my first equation. So just uh, solve, uh, just subtract it. So what I get is C. You need to understand the sign would change here. Here it's 5, right? So minus is there, so it would be applied to all. So 50 minus 5 is 45. Likewise, 10G minus 4G is 6G. 10F minus 2F is 8F. And C minus C is 0. So this is what I have. Just rearrange it, write it in the form G, F and constant. Okay, It looks good whenever we have something in the good format. So you can write it as 6G plus 8F plus 45. Mark this as equation 4, okay? As I mentioned, I'm going to now do equation 3 minus equation 2. So what I had to get is this. This is my equation 3 and this is my equation 2. Subtract it. 85 minus 50, 35. Now, be careful here. Minus 12g minus 10g, okay? Minus 12g, this plus, but as I mentioned, minus is there. This practically. So we get minus 12g minus 10g. It is nothing but minus 22g, okay? Next. Next, I have 14f minus 10f, which is nothing but 4f, and c minus c would go away. Fine. So ultimately, I get 35 minus 22g plus 4f equal to 0. As already mentioned, better to write things in a decent way, like gf uh, constant form. So I'd get here minus 22g plus 4f plus 35 equal to 0. All good. Now I'm going to solve these two equations. Which two equations? Equation 4 and 5. Okay. This was my fourth equation. This was my fifth equation. All good. Now see. Uh, so G F1, I'm going to use this method, okay? the X, Y1 method, I'm sure you might be familiar, if not you can just listen to it, it's not that difficult. So first, uh, first you need to write the coefficient of F of the first equation, okay? So what is the coefficient of F? 8. Next you need to write 45. Next come here, 6. Next, write, next again come to 8, okay? Now here also in the second equation again. First you need to write uh, coefficient of F, okay? 4, then 35, then minus 22, then again 4. So that's all. And it's pretty simple, okay. So what I'd be getting is g divided by g divided by 8 into 35 minus 4 into 45. So this is what I get. 8 35s are 280 and 4 45s are 180. Next. F divided by 45 into minus 22, which is nothing but 45 into minus 22 minus 35 into 6, which is nothing but minus 990 minus 210. Okay. Now next one divided by 6 4s are 24, 24 minus 22 into 8. So that would be nothing but 176. Now listen here, it's minus it's minus 176, okay. Minus 22 into 8 is minus 136 and already there is a minus in between, fine. And there will be equal to for each of them, fine. This is how I'd be getting, fine. 
Now I'll just solve it. So 280 minus 180 is 100. G by 100 is equal to this is minus 990 minus 210. Okay, be careful here. You need to add them and put a minus sign at the end. Like 990 plus 210, that is 1200. And both are minus, so ultimately the final answer is minus. So that's what I'd get. So G by 100 is equal to F by minus 1200 is equal to. Now next, this would be nothing but 24 plus 176 because minus of minus would be plus. So 1 by 24 plus 176, I'd be getting. As I mentioned, uh, this is nothing but 200. Okay, so 1 by 200. Now, you know, I could equate it like G by 100 is equal to 1 by 200 and the other part F by uh, minus 1200 is equal to 1 by 200. Yeah. I can split it right because all three of them are equal. I can take them, take the equalities like this at times also. So, okay, next now send this 100 here. G is 100 by 200 and F is minus 1200 by 200. And two zeros cancel. G is 1 by 2 and F would be 200 on the 200. 6 R, so I'd get minus 6 F is minus 6. Okay, so all good. I got my G and F, but one more thing is missing. What was that? That was C. So how to get C? So substitute G and F values which we just got now in any of the equation. Uh, it could be 1, 2 or 3. I just took 1. Uh, so from equation 1, I have 5 plus 4G plus 2F plus C equal to 0. So I already know what is G and what is F. So just substitute it. Okay, uh, for 2 1s are 2 twos are. So 5 plus 2 and 2 into minus 6 is minus 12. So 5 plus 2 minus 12 plus C equal to 0. And... 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 minus 12 is minus 5, minus 5 plus C equal to 0. So, and then send this minus 5, that's it. So, I get C as 5. So, I got G, I got F, and I got my C. That's it. The question is done. Just substitute it. So, the required equation is x square plus y square plus x minus 12 y plus 5 equal to 0. Because uh, I have uh, G is 1 by 2, 2 into 1 by 2 is uh, 1. So, like 1 into x is just x. And F was minus 6 plus I have 2 F y. So, minus 12y here and plus c so that's it thank you very much for staying with me up till now i hope you like this uh, video and my explanation uh, not just this question other questions related to circles also have covered and some other topics also related to intermediate second year are covered you can just go through my channel or just check out the description that should give you some uh, fair idea of uh, what all things are covered and not just that uh, in case if this is your first time com coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it and if you like this video Please hit the like button. Thank you.